and it beats Star Wars, Zootopia and Deadpool. We're here at Hola Mexico with Nicolas Lopez yes. with your film Sin Filtro. It looks hilarious. I watched the trailer. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Um, no Filter or Sin Filtro, uh, it's a comedy about a woman that decides to say everything that's on her mind without censoring herself. So we can say that it's a comedy for women and a horror film for men. And the movie was an insane box office hit in Chile. It sold more than a million admissions there. And it beat Star Wars, Zootopia and Deadpool. So, and, and right now we are remaking the movie in 11 countries including the US, which is insane for, it's like basically it's like the little movie that could. And, and I think that it has to do with the fact that people really want to see uh, movies that are different than most of the like blockbusters that we're used to watch. And then I hear you're, you're also remaking it for the US. Yes, we are remaking the movie for the US. I'm going to direct it. Uh, right now we are in conversations with, uh, with, uh, with an actress that's going to play the, the lead part in the US and she's a huge star, so we're very, very happy with that. And we'll see. We'll see if, if I ended up like this version. Now, is it hard translating? Because some of the humor, sometimes I find it, it's hard to translate from Spanish to English. Well, the thing about this movie is that it's very universal. I think that, like, we have seen the movie with a Chinese audience, with an audience from all over the world, Spain, uh, France, Germany, and people relate to the movie because, uh, because it talks about the little problems. It doesn't talk about, like, the big, big problems, you know? Like, it doesn't want to end uh, poverty or, you know, world hunger. It's, it's a movie that it's, it's just, it's, it's a comedy, and it's a comedy about female empowerment, and I think that people can really um, relate to that. And since the film's about somebody kind of letting go of, of yeah. not being censored, what would you say about the Hollywood studio system, if you could, to like executives? It's there's this whole thing that is called hurry up and wait, where basically they are like, okay, you have to deliver a script, you have to do this and that, and then it's like, oh, nothing is happening with the project, so you have to wait three years. And this was a movie that I tried to make in English, and then I was like, you know what, it's like it's gonna take like so much time that I prefer to do it in Spanish. And now. The movie is it's getting a, a release all over the world, so I, I think that language doesn't matter anymore. It's all about the ideas. And then uh, your BFF in filmmaking, Eli Roth, is here to support you tonight. Yeah. Are you guys working on anything together? We just wrote the script for a comedy, and we're seeing what's going to happen with that. And we're all like, we 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 just made like four movies back to back: uh, The Stranger, Aftershock, Knock Knock, The Green Inferno, and and we have like a very good uh, relationship. Like I, I love Eli, and and we want to keep working together for many many years. Does it work because you come from two different cultures? I mean, does that does that work in your favor? Or are you just very similar as far as filmmaking? I think that we speak one language, and that language is geek. You know, so we're we're very fluent in geek. So it doesn't matter if I have an accent or if he's or he doesn't speak a word of Spanish. You know, and and we love those little like cultural things. You know, like when I see things like from one perspective and can see this thing from a complete opposite perspective. And I think that that what makes our movies like so different and so rich. You know.